All right. Let me know what you guys th th think because you saw my reaction. I was very I not like excited. I'm I'm actually more excited. I'm actually really excited about this one. I'll say. Okay, I I want to hear your reasoning why. When I looked at this, I just wasn't impressed. Well, by you'll anything. have to actually see stats to see part of my reasoning. But no, you start with the skills first. What the fuck? If I'm looking on a first impression, I'll admit Darting Blow was a little bit meh. But I really do like Lunar Flash and Luna Arc as a combo. Lunar Flash looks like it has some really solid damage output to it with very quick cooldown, so some pretty interesting spiral builds you can do with that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Luna Arc, it's half of Lunar Brace per shot if Alm is initiating. That's pretty nasty. Just as true damage, well, supposedly true damage right out the gate. Mm -hmm. like, so I, I know the Darting Blow is supposed to help out Lunar Flash here, but it still seems very unnecessary to kind of overkill. And yeah. You don't. I don't think you get much out of it, honestly. Exactly. My personal viewpoint on all of that is just Darting Blow. Just, I think you would switch that, honestly. I don't know his <laughs> stats yet because unless somebody's trying to like screw it over, <laughs> I'm legion. Uh, but at the very <laughs> least, I can see Darting Blow ver working with um, Flashing Blade, so you get like instant Lunar Flashes. Well, like guaranteed Lunar Flashes in the same combat phase. Yeah. And that could be that pretty be powerful, easy. I guess. Yeah, it's yeah, just use Fury cool. Desperation on him. Or Fury <laughs> Desperation, because it works on everybody. <laughs> I won't argue with that one for this one. <laughs> Maybe Fury 4 Desperation. I know no follow-up is super useful, but people forget. Like, I've been using um, my new Flying Nino, and I'm, I've been keeping uh, Aerobatics as her B-Skill. I find so often that if she takes any damage, the next battle is virtually impossible. Well, I was using her Grand Conquest, so I had to go through a lot of repeated battles. And Arena Assault, I imagine, not having Desperation stuff is, is fine. But any continued battle, like, the fact that you have to get hit in your second... Sh if you don't one-shot them and get hit, it's so disastrous. Yeah, that's why for it's a long term, better. yeah. Hmm? That's why Aerobatics is much better as a seal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With that said, though... Great. um. No follow-up is a super important skill, super nice skill to have, so I can see see people keeping that. Without a doubt, that one was really nice. I would take that any day, for a speedy unit in particular. So I think the decision-making comes down to whether you want to use Alm as an effective killer or a specialist hero. Because I view like no follow-up making him a specialist hero, like he'll target the armored heroes. Save his HP yeah. for that, yeah. Yeah. The Lunar Flash and Lunar Arc combination is really interesting. Like, the ability to, to uh, ignore more defense and res and uh, go after. And the, the fact that he gets damaged in terms of foe's defense. Like, it's like he's made to kill armor heroes, but I don't know his stats yet, so I, I, I can't really tell. <laughs> we'll get into that momentarily. Mm -hmm. And then the auto attack wave. Anyways, do you guys have any final thoughts about this? Like, it's, it's not a bad skill kit. It's just like not very exciting for me i lunar flash and lunar arc are really new concepts but it doesn't seem like for me initially it didn't feel like he pulls it off i kind of felt like he would pull those off from the get-go i just wasn't really sure about it the lunar flash a little bit skeptical on and then of course starting blow four i didn't expect it to have an appended um skill to it because death blow four was just attack plus eight that being said speed plus nine on first glance, does feel very overkill. I wasn't really sure how he was planning on pulling that off. Okay, I, even with all the extra two damage being I, added to him. Sure, I get, I get it. But speed plus nine is really, really wasteful. For example, speed plus nine might as well be speed plus ninety nine. For most heroes, once you double, that's the end of it. There are skills that use speed, yes, but for most heroes, once you double, that's the end of it. So. P plus He'll do nine. Extra just... 20 damage with 99 speed, though. Okay, but like, yeah, for, for for this case, it would matter with Lunar Flash. But I'm just saying, like, as a skill as a whole, Darting Blow 4 is like one of the most specialized skills you're going to use. It's like, it's not for yeah. everybody. Just like... waiting for the Reinhardts that are going to have Darting Blow 4. Oh, my God. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. It's going to happen. I, I... <sighs> you know, I personally think Reinhardt killed FEH. I feel like everybody's first thought is, does this work on Reinhardt? Fuck. <laughs> you already know it's going to. Yeah. Oh, you, I'm getting it. 
I'm getting vibes of that already. Yeah, no Dark kidding. Dark Flow 7 is gonna be epic. Oh yeah, it's P plus 15 with the seal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go over to the heroes. Um... I was also really uh, not excited about this either, to be honest. I thought that there was... It's not quite as overwhelming as some of the other banners have been, but this one's not bad at all. I mean, I don't think there has been a bad Hundred Heroes banner. I mean, there have been... I think some of the early ones are kind of bleh. Well... But not recently. That's not really fair, because that's... They didn't have as many choices back then. And power well, yeah. is a thing. But even that, in that retrospect, it was still pretty bleh. But... Nah, I, nothing really recently has been bad. All right. Well, from in my case, when I look at this banner, I think it's always two out of three. As in, like, I think two out of three heroes are excellent, and then the third hero is meh. I think that's a very applicable statement here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. So, if you had to rank in terms of colors, how would you do it, guys? Ooh. I think for me, blue is pretty up there, but Fjorm lost a lot of value recently. Because yes. she's not on the bonus rotation for yeah. arena anymore. It's a heavy hit on blue. Wait a second. Is that really a? Is that really? It's a... all legendary heroes now instead of. Yeah, Fjorm. she got skipped last time, so. So no more, no more arena bonus Fjorm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know that's actually a really important point to talk about. Because for everybody who was like, let's plus ten Fjorm and use her. Yep, day th those days are over. Well, until she comes back for her own legendary heroes rotation, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. She's just on legendary every, rotation. Every single season, she'll eventually come back. But no, no, no. I'm. But in terms of frequency, as before, it's 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 oh, a, yeah, that's no, a massive it's drop off. Even, yeah, it's a massive drop off in that regard. Okay, so um, that's an entirely different argument, but um, that just that's just pure power creep. Like there is no certainty in this game. When you when people maxed out Fjorm, they thought like, oh, we were getting a guarantee. No, it's not. Well, the Asgard Trio is pretty much the only real guarantee at this yeah, point. But they don't work. They, they the don't. kind of does, but no, no, yeah. they don't work. You, 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 unless you, you can make Green oh, Ghoul Infantry Anna work, they're not gonna work. They're not gonna work. You no. can't stay in with them. Okay. I mean, no. <laughs> so so Fjorm then therefore has minimal value because if she's just the same as any blue legendary hero um which puts her in the same category as legendary zero who could just use her blue dual flying and score as much as she does mm -hmm. then there's no point in going for fjorm anymore shield falls <laughs> uh yeah that's, that's pretty much it uh <laughs> <laughs> everything else she has uh, man you sound like one of those people now. who are like yo you want to pull for a saber and an off focus banner do it He's still I, there. What's you're yeah. telling me to do right now? I actually am tempted to do that the second Saber comes back, so yeah. Need to stop. Is the Mythic Heroes on AR rotation? Yes. You need Jesus. But I just want you guys to understand, don't think just because you plus 10 a hero, you know, it's always going to be there. Like, this game has given every indication of power creep constantly. So, if, you, if you're one of those people who were at the start of the game a year ago, saved up to plus 10 Fjorm, yeah, I feel for you. I got a few for a few few merges, but I'm just saying, like, if you're going plus ten one of these heroes, it, it's it's more for the short term because in the, there's no guarantee in the future. Yeah. I mean, if you plus ten her, you, if any plus ten legendary hero, you're still gonna be pretty set for those seasons in arena. But there's that is better so options now, infrequent. So. It's I'm not sure how much it's like. Do you think it's worth it? Because how many times are you gonna show up? Okay, well, uh, I'm not talking about her as a bonus unit. I'm just saying just as a unit in general. Reasons. Oh, sure, I guess. She's a good chipper she's, because she's she has better the options goal now. And so not the best attack. The, the one thing she has is that you've had a much longer time to merge her up than the other ones. So you that might is... have a higher merged uh, Fjorm than you would in Azura. But for example, I have a plus two Fjorm. That is hardly an advantage. That is not an advantage. Yeah. Unless it's well, her. If you specifically went for her every month that she was on, then maybe. I don't know. She 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 did lose a lot of value. There. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, like that's undisputed. dumb. All right. Well, uh, moving past that. So 
she's there for a very mediocre hero. Sorry, there's a lot of great blue legendary heroes. The most recent one being the blue legendary, um, Legendary Azura. Yep. Yeah. That blue duo flying already makes sure, like, she scores more than Fjorm, so it's rough. Yep. And, we'll uh, eventually be blue duel infantry. Okay. There wasn't. <laughs> Uh, but moving on forward, uh, the rest of blues, Nayla is extremely good. I, I love her. Um, this encounter, she's hot. And uh, her usage is pretty interesting. Her, her skill set's pretty interesting, so that's nice. Yeah, Null Sea Disrupt is very treasured for good reason. And then Ephraim is a beast, physical beast. Mm -hmm. um, I believe, isn't it Bold Fighter and his... Uh, no, his weapon is an Ox. Only solo. He has oh, full whoops. fighter on his B slot. No, I don't mean his weapon. Oh, I don't, whoopsies, I just misspoke. I meant he has bolt fighter. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, when he's alone, and he has attack defense solo. So when he's alone, he gets how much extra stats? Um, attack defense plus 10, um, speed res plus 4. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, it's he's still very weird to use, because armors in general want don't to move be... Well. Yeah. yeah. So I, don't, I wouldn't say he's like the best, but he's still pretty good. Yeah, he's, he's very hard. Don't take damage, Kappa. <laughs> God. Um, but outside of that, that's blues. Um, for greens, Ludry Hector, I don't think everyone anyone needs an explanation. One of the greatest defenders in this game. High BST, uh, wary fighter in his axe, as long as you have more, more um, Thunder Owl Mass, I believe. As long as you have more um, allies near you. Uh, Venture Fighter. Um, this encounter and and Ostium Pulse, so he helps out um, specials as well. He's pretty he's pretty damn good too. Yep. Uh, the other green hero is Faye, another magnificent defensive hero. Uh, I don't know what else to say about her. She just gets extra defense and res of glittering breath. I, glittering breath, I believe. It's yeah, up to six in each. Six to each. Yeah. Plus defense res bond. Plus and the refine, resume. and the fact that she has 41 base res. <laughs> yep. Solid. Sue, though, I am just another... I just think Sue's mediocre, all right? Come on. I I mean, I, is. yeah. Color really ties her down. Her stats are great, but the fact that she's colored it makes her very weighed down. I still I'm take Legendary Lynn. Legendary I'd Lynn. still take Legendary... Wait, Legendary Lynn? Sorry, not Legendary Lynn. Um, Brave uh, Lynn. Brave Lynn. I would, too. And I Actually, do. I would still take I would take Ledring Lynn over her. Thing. You can argue on that, but I'll take Ledring Lynn on her, over her. Just fodder her for home speed four, and that's it. Yeah, I have home speed four, short bow. Oh, I guess really if you need that arrow. fodder, yeah. Yeah. All right, but uh, wrapping things up for colorless, I it, it all depends on Elm. I think Winter Erica is excellent, and uh, uh, Leanne is above average in terms of being a a, a singer, but. I mean, she's good because you know three moves, but three moves. Her kit is not very good it, for fodder, so it's not the best for fodder. It's good in that you don't have to fodder off grailed units because it's um, mirror stance and fire formation as well as home beasts. But it isn't necessarily the best if you are looking at it in retrospect. Mm. All right, fair enough. But yeah, it, it really depends on Elm. I think Winter Erica is a top three support hero, but again, Elm. Mm -hmm. I'll agree on that. And then finally, uh, Reds. Reds actually really, uh, I found it really funny because <laughs> Metri, <laughs> Marth, and Roy are virtually the same heroes. There's a minute <laughs> difference there. And one has this encounter and one doesn't, basically. Yeah, and one has this encounter and one has Fire Emblem and Binding Shield. And one's slightly better at killing dragons, but virtually the same. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Still just both interesting. Really Marth is a lot better just because of his B skill. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure. I mean. But it's it's pretty damn close. If you get either, it's yeah. Yeah, they're both great. And then the mediocre hero there is Legendary Ike. That's uh, Red Bite. Yeah. Warding Breath fodder. Hey man, he's the only one who can breathe now. Oh. Oh yeah, he's the only Wait, breather. But he can breathe too. Tiki's not here. Uh, oh well, you know what? Oh my god. Zamble, you gotta say Zamble, damn it. Fine. Well, you know what? Lag. But, bruh. That Alm yeah. is getting foddered so hard. For what? <laughs> For what? Damn funny. He, ha Dude, he has follow -up. starting Zamble. speed 4 and. Starting, starting speed 4? <laughs> That's a new skill. More importantly, more importantly, that null 
I did not want to fodder Analia. Oh, we now are right. You're... Wait, is it no C disrupt or no follow up? Because it's not no follow, follow up. Yeah, is, follow up. Um, yeah. That's Corrin. Oh, yeah. I think you might want to fodder Corrin for Wait that. a second, you're right. Corn. That's your foddering path. You can just get Darting Blow 3 from like what? From I mix those two up like crazy. Uh, I think but yeah, Florina. just do that. Florina, get darting blow three from Florina, and then you just get null follow up and darting blow four. That's your that's your fodder often. Wow. Uh huh. That's pretty high yeah. tier. Very good off. Very good offer on that fodder. All right, all right. Final thing. Is it me or is it nine days? That's longer uh, than usual. I think that's nine I days. Some of them since uh, Roy. I'm I think sure. they've been a little longer than they used to be. Huh. They used to be like, what, four days before? Yeah, yeah I think those only, they were like, like five, five days. Six. Yeah. Isn't, isn't it because of Golden Week? No, the, Royce was the same situation. Wait, you're right. Oh, we're in Golden Week. Where's our friggin' orbs? That's uh, tomorrow, not dude. quite there yet. Where's our free legendary <laughs> elf? Give us free That's stuff. tomorrow. <laughs> Demand it. Shut up. Jesus. Oh, yeah, it, it starts Hold tomorrow, up. technically. Yeah, you're right. Hey chat, how, what do you think? Do, do you want free stuff? <laughs> this is the most yeah, I can't. Nice question. Hmm. Uh, give me Bible thumbs for no, and yeah for yes. They won't even show up. Oh, there you go. The chat. <laughs> no, it's no, it's still frozen. All right. I don't know. The web chat has been like really ass lately. That's why we have been using it. Oh. All right, we said it. Let's let's try again. All right, um, three people actually said no. Okay. Wow. You know, you guys, are, you guys are so funny. Okay. Anyways, that is the skill breakdown along with the heroes breakdown. I mean, in, in my opinion, this is, I'm not pulling on this. This is so, I, I just think it's mediocre. I just, I wasn't impressed by anything really. This is the first time I've ever said that about Legend of Heroes Banner. I don't remember the last time I was actually just like middling about anything. Damn son. I will be pulling. That's basically what I can say for now. All I right. am pulling. Just full circle. Yeah, that's like forty flowers right there. Full circle. I mean, yeah, if you need the infantry flowers. I think I might do a full circle and just try and get one hero of anything. But that that will be my I extent. will watch from the sidelines. Because yeah. you've quit the game. Alright, that's that's everything. <laughs>